Hey, nerds and nerdettes, welcome back. This is Batman Mark. And the Gilness. And we're here at the Fortress Bar in good old Connecticut, hanging out for the weekend, going through some reviews. And do we have something very special for you. During Toy Fair this past February, we got to sit down with my boy Jim. Hey, Jimbo. Jim Fletcher. Love you, brother. Um, and he showed us some really interesting artwork and a prototype that blew us away. This amazing rendition of Batman black and white statue. This freaking thing is gorgeous. I still haven't opened this yet. Please understand. I haven't broken the seal on the inside yet. We're gonna do that right here for you on Nerds in the Bar. So right now we're going to peel it open. When we did speak to Jim Fletcher earlier, he did say he didn't even get his own yet. He didn't get his own. So we're, we're well ahead of uh, We're ahead of you, Jim, for her one of the game. And so we're slowly, carefully there it is. There it is. taking it out of the box. Batman and his famous utility belt. He actually has a utility belt, folks. He's not kidding. Belt. He's not kidding. Make sure, folks, you have an adult help you cut this open. So maybe I should have that knife, please. So, Mark, this uh, this particular statue represents uh, Todd McFarlane's famous cover of Batman Comics number four twenty three, which came out in the summer of eighty eight. And I, I had already graduated college by then. That's amazing. I was eleven years old. Oh my god! Look at this thing. This this is unbelievable. God, guys, wait till you see this. Dude, this is by far my absolute favorite right now. On the original cover, there's Batman's actually holding a, some, a, a woman. woman. They didn't want to put the girl in, so there was no reference source material for yeah. what was underneath, so they actually had to have Todd come in and redo some of this. He actually is looking like he's looking out into something that someone he just beat the shit out of to protect the girl from in the original cover. They did more detail on him, on his face, because in the cover, he's mostly in silhouette, and all you see is the girl. All you see is him and his holding cape the holding the girl, and the color is all the girl. Everything else on the cover, well, the the outside edge of the color of the comic book was red, like blood red, it was beautiful. So the silhouette of Batman in that black with the red outlined rest of the cover with the woman in his arms and blonde was absolutely it's an stunning. The statue was sculpted by Jonathan Matthews. I don't know any of his other work at this very moment, but I got to tell you, after seeing what he's done with this piece, I am going to hunt down some of his other artwork. I want to see what else he's done. It's got to be one of the most detailed cape flatulations I've ever seen. Cape flatulations. You only get that here on Nerds in the Bar. I mean, what else would you call it? It's just right. well, this is insane. this is your this is your Todd McFarlane cape, hundred percent. Right? But this with the cape and the way it billows and the folds and it's it's almost four dimensional. It is insane. Yeah, it, they it. really did a phenomenal job. Let's, let's take a look at the bottom of the base and see if uh, it has a, a, a number on it. It's stamped. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, oh crud! I got three o twenty two out of 5,000. 3,000. First wave. This is the first edition, yeah. guys. This they're, is the they're first release. They're doing a second run. They're doing a second run. If you look at the original comic book and you look at that cape, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. And that's, right. and that's what makes that's what makes this piece so unique is it's so hard to interpret that into a statue. But if you look at the statue close up and you follow the cape and the lines, it's you can, you can follow you can follow where the cape is going, coming from and going to which is almost impossible to do in the artwork on the comic. So the translation is was, really something else here. Yeah. The yeah. artist that rendered this statue yeah. did a phenomenal do job with all the folds, creases, and cuts in the cape. I mean, it's just, take a look at the back of this thing. It's just incredible. You have all of these fins and points coming off at certain parts of the cape in a billowing, in a billowing fashion. And you see it, you see the points and the curves, it's just incredible. Entertainment Earth, Bethany, Ed, you guys rock. Thank you so much. Jim, Jim brother, I love you. This is amazing. Todd, brother, we love you. Thank you. This is amazing. Jim, wait until you get yours. You're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, that does it for another episode of Nerds in the Bar. We thank you for joining us. I am the Gilness. 
I am Batman Mark. And we are here with the most incredible Batman statue we've ever seen. And uh, we're going to catch you next time. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Good night.